Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I tend to upload twice a week, which is on Sundays and Thursdays, so I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay y'all, so today we're gonna be talking talking about the Givenchy Shark Lock Boots. Now Givenchy is known for this iconic boot that first came out in the fall of 2012. They have two different heights. There is a shorter height and a tall height that comes up to your knee or a little bit below the knee actually. And over time they have reinvented this boot. Now this boot I would say is a fall staple and has been around like I said since 2012. So 10 years at this point but it did kind of leave the scene and come back and I would say within the last couple of years this boot has been on trend again now since they have been on trend they have changed the style of the boot like I mentioned now they actually have a full hanging lock on the boots and before it just used to be like a closing lock like a twist lock tab I would say and so that makes the boot a little bit more decorative and I do like the new style of the boot. Now one thing that's been known about these shark lock boots is that they are very narrow in the circumference. Now on the website they do not show the actual circumference of the boot the original boot but they have recently come out with a wider calf version because so many people have had so many issues fitting into the tall um, boot and even the lower shaft boot as well because of that narrow circumference. So today I actually have the wide calf version. I've never tried the original version but my calves measure 14.5 inches. Um, I don't have a real measuring tape for like um, the body. I use a metal measuring tape and I'll insert a little clip here where I did that um, and it measured at 14.5 at the largest part of my calf and then the length of my leg is about 11 inches from my knee to my ankle. I am 5'1", so I do have very short legs. Now, before we get into the boots that I actually picked up, I do just wanna give you guys some specs about the boots and just a little bit of information. So, as I mentioned, they do come in two different shaft lengths. The first one is a shorter, I would say, ankle um, boot, but it is a little bit higher. I would say mid-calf boot, um, if you will. And this one has a zipper on the inside of the boot and the heel height of this is 3.5 inches and it is a wedge booty, if you didn't know. So they do have that uh, leather piece that hangs over it so you can't see the heel, but underneath that it is a wedge style boot, which makes the boot very, very, very comfortable. And the short shaft retails for $1,995. Now the taller shaft boots have the same exact heel height, which is a 3.5 inch wedge, but it does not have any zippers on here. So it is a slip on style boot, which is what made it difficult in previous years to uh, pull those up on the calves if you had a larger calf. Now, I've even seen people that don't have really large calves struggle to get into the original shark lock boot. So again, on the website, they don't specify uh, the actual circumference of the boot. So I don't know that, but I will measure the ones that I have. And the retail for the taller boot is $2,395. Now listen, over time, these boots have definitely skyrocketed in price. They continue to go up, up and up. And this is a pretty steep price for the boot, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the boots that I picked up. Okay, y'all, so these boots are only available at Givenchy.com or at a Givenchy store. I have not seen any retailers selling the Shark Lock boot for years at this point. So this is the box that you will receive. This is the shoe box. It is huge, beautiful, hard box, of course. And I got the long version in the new wide calf. So I just wanted to show you guys this box. Okay, y'all, so here are the Shark Shark Lock boots. How gorgeous are these boots? I did pick mine up in black. They have several different colors, but in the wide calf on the website, they only come in black. I have heard through the grapevine that if you find a sales associate, some stores may have the gray in the wide calf, but so far online, they have only displayed the black in the wide calf, okay? And the price doesn't change whether you get the regular calf size or the wide calf. Now, as you can see, these are fairly
fairly wide. I have tried these on. I actually showed you guys these on Instagram and they fit me with room to go. So that's one good thing about them. Okay, y'all. So I just want to give you a better look at the boot. So as you can see, it has this long piece of leather that kind of hangs over the boot and it does drag a little bit. I mean, it meets right at the edge of this wedge here. So you can see how it kind of like just bevels around there. It does feature an almond toe, which I'm not a huge fan of, but these are iconic. You wouldn't want them to change too much of the style, but I love a pointed toe boot. Um, and this is what the bottoms look like. I have not worn these out and we'll get into that in a minute, but I have tried these on and walked around in the house and they are very comfortable, okay? So like I mentioned, these boots came out in 2012 and they were all the rage, you guys, but I knew that I probably would not be able to fit into these boots because I had heard so many times over how small the circumference of the boot was so it was never anything on my radar until recently I started seeing them over and over and over again and I'm like I would really like these so I was going back and forth if I wanted to get the shorter calf version um, or if I wanted to get the tall version now I knew I probably wouldn't be able to fit into the taller um, Original version, but I have heard that you can get them stretched out So I was kind of teetering back and forth But then that price um, increase happened and I was just like, oh my goodness. No, thank you All of a sudden I went on Instagram and I follow a sales associate and he was mentioning that they had the wide calf version in so I was like I couldn't believe this. I hadn't heard about a wide calf version coming out or anything like that. So I immediately DM'd him and I was just like, is this true? You know, is this the wide calf version? And he said, yes, they have made a new wide calf version and they come in black. And in some stores, they come in the gray, as I mentioned earlier. So I went online to see what they had available and to see if that was actually true. And um, they were there. I saw that they had a size 38 and a 40 left. I went ahead and ordered the 38 and this is what I got. Now, as far as the fit and the actual foot is concerned, I've heard that these boots run extremely small, but now I'm wondering, did people think they ran small due to the fact that they couldn't get their foot in there because the circumference was so narrow or was the shoe itself actually narrow, okay? But I got these in a size 38, which is my boot size. I do wear a size seven and a half US and these fit me with room to go. I can wear uh, thick socks in here and they slip on super, super, super easy. So I'm thinking that it was probably because the uh, circumference was so narrow that people had a hard time getting their foot in because I've heard people going up two and three sizes when it com comes to these boots and I could imagine doing that in this wide calf version okay so as I mentioned my leg measures 11 inches let me measure this boot the full length of this boot y'all is 18 inches okay I have very short legs so when I tried these on I was a little bit disappointed because they are supposed to come right under the knee mine comes like right like up the knee you know what I mean and so I feel like you need longer legs to really pull off these boots and plus they have room um in the actual width around my leg as well so it's not as sleek as I would like I do feel like they kind of overwhelm my stature a bit um I'm gonna show you guys how they look on um you know when I'm trying them on and things like that and I actually tried to uh wear them in like one of my last Zara hauls just to you know put them on style them up just a little Little bit um, but I do think the boot is absolutely gorgeous and if this boot is something that you have been wanting I would say go for it now the price point on these are just it's out of this world in a bad way okay I think twenty three hundred dollars almost twenty four hundred dollars is quite a bit for a shoe um, it is a classic boot and it is something that you can have for years and years to come but listen up, the wear and tear on this boot, I'm not sure about it because this boot, as you can already see, I've never worn these. I've only tried them on twice and look at the creasing already. I have not walked miles in these boots. I haven't walked, you know, long at all in these boots. They already have this creasing and 
I don't think it's because I'm short because I've seen other people and they crease as well. So if that's not something that you really like, I think you're probably going to have an issue with this boot over time just because it's just going to get all those creases and dents in the uh, leather. Now, the leather is fairly soft, though it's structured a bit. Um, it is pretty soft, you know, so I don't think the leather will crack over time but the creases are just not as attractive in my opinion. I think these boots look so much better just straight up and down, like really, really, really sleek. And so over time, I'm just not sure about how they will look because again, already you can see the kind of dents and things like that. Um, and I've seen this on all the boots, even the shorter version. Now, now that I have tried on the longer version, I am considering sending these back and getting just the shorter version. Now they don't come in a wider calf. I don't know if it's necessary or not, but I do want to try on the shorter version simply because I'm short and I want to know where they would come on my leg. And it sucks that they don't sell these in department stores. So you can't really go and try them on unless you have a Givenchy store in your state or city. Um, so that's the only downside about this, but the boots are super, super cute. Um, very iconic, definitely a huge statement piece, a piece for fall that you know if you're a boot girl it's hard not to have this boot in your collection and they are very comfortable so far like I said I haven't walked miles in them but I find them to be very comfortable it is only a 3.5 inch wedge and they have a nice cushion in the boot as well so I like these boots a lot um, as far as the style I just don't know if they're for me and this is just another look at the boot you guys I love the lock that they put on the boot this go round um, and this has been like this for the last maybe two or three years um, because originally it was just like this very 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 plain but these are a little bit more extra and like I said more decorative so I do like that a lot um, I'm thinking about just getting the short version in the gray that may be more of my vibe I'm not sure, but I'm going to try them on. Let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you me slipping the boots on so you can see how easy they are to put on. And I just added a skirt so you guys can actually see them um, a little bit more clear and against my skin. So you can see they are a very wide boot. I want to say that these would fit probably up to maybe an 18 inch calf because I can put my whole hand in there and I have room to go. So yeah, this is how they look, like I said, with the skirt. And you can see what I was talking about when it comes to the creasing. I'm not sure if it's because I'm too short or what, but the boot is very loose in the leg. So maybe they all just crease like that. I also added a pair of black denim jeans so you guys could kind of see how that looks um, and still so much room to go when it comes to the width of the boot. Um, they are super comfortable. The more I try to style them up, the more I do like them. I just need to make sure that I'm going to like that creasing and it's not going to bother me. And then this is when I first tried them on. Um, I had on leggings here. So they still look the same um, whether I have leggings, jeans, or whatever have you. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I can't tell you how many DMs I received when I tried these boots on. I did mention that they were wide calf. I mentioned on my Instagram that I had a 14.5 inch uh, circumference calf and people still really wanted me to do a review. So I hope this review was helpful for you guys. I hope it wasn't like redundant um, and you know, not pointless and you enjoyed it. So give this video a thumbs up if you did and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye y'all.